One more time. Ready to go. Ready with the GoPro. Hey everybody, we are on the road once again. This time we are driving up to Orlando through US 27, Okeechobee Road in these parts, as we exit Miami through the city of Hialeah. Most people will take the Florida Turnpike going north, but if you've seen my previous videos you know I absolutely loathe that road, and we are not in a hurry so let's take this a somewhat more scenic route. Check out the street vendor, an iconic staple in this uh, mainly Cuban-American enclave. We are going to take a detour right here uh, before South Bay towards Bell Glade. The plan is to go around Lake Okeechobee on the eastern side and maybe we'll get a chance to see the lake. There's not a whole lot to see here in Belglade, actually. We continue towards Pahokee, which is a little further north along this vast agricultural area. Most of it is sugarcane, I believe. Pahokee is not so bad, actually. It's actually quite a bit picturesque. Here we find uh, this gas station where I can fit uh, the trailer, kind of. Uh, don't mind my driving, okay? We top off the tank. We continue going around the lake. Uh, but there's this tall levee to our left, uh, so you can't really see anything. The nearest place to see the lake and access the scenic trail that goes around it is at the Port uh, Mayaka Locks, and I think this is it. There's uh, an old Class A here blocking the way, but uh, we hesitate for a moment and uh, we go around it. I think we've made a wrong turn. This uh, seems to be a construction site. Uh, there is a no trespassing sign, so... Maybe we should turn around. It feels like such a nice place for a picnic though. Maybe the entrance is on the other side. Let's go across the bridge. Here we are, let's uh, walk up to the Lake Okeechobee Scenic Trail. The lake is so vast that you can't even see the other side. And way in the distance. Yes, after 26 years in my Florida, I finally get to see Lake Okeechobee. It's like an ocean. All right, let's check all this out from the air.
We continue driving along the lake's perimeter, uh, which is, uh, to be honest, not all that interesting since there's that levee I was talking about obstructing the view of the lake. The scenic trail which goes on the top of the levee would have been a more interesting walk because you can't drive on it, uh, so we should do that some other time. There's a multitude of RV parks in this area and some private residences too, but so many RV parks. So many RVs and we're filming this in early April, so we are near the end of the high season. Eventually, we arrive at the town of Okeechobee. They have some artillery weapons and helicopter and a tank on display right here at Flagler Park. We start heading west, or northwest rather, along this very rural area, as we want to eventually merge back into US 27. It is actually very pretty countryside for Florida. Lots of cattle. We cross the Kissimmee River, and eventually, well, we make a quick detour here to visit the Hen Scratch Farms winery, which was recommended by someone, but <laughs> to be honest, I don't remember who. Parking, as you can see, is a little too tight for the RV, but let's see what we can do. I think I can make a U-turn here, kind of. And there you go, success! They have a bunch of local products and souvenirs and the Florida Muscadine wine. Yeah, we got uh, one red, one white, the sunrise and the sunset. And some garlic infused uh, grape seed, the grapeseed oil and uh, the raw honey. We continue on our way to Orlando. <laughs> there are also all these chickens and hens and a rooster roaming around. I think these two want to get into the RV. They are very friendly. Actually, I've been told that if you bring Cheerios, you are allowed to feed the chickens. So I think they were probably hoping to be fed. <laughs> they are not shy, that's for sure. Okay, we continue towards Orlando. We reach the intersection with US 27 and we are going to refuel one more time. Uh, this gas station with, by the way, has become one of our favorites along US 27. They have excellent dark roast coffee. You can tell we've been driving around this area for too long when we already have a favorite gas station. But we live in South Florida. We only take out the RV for a few days at a time and this state is a long peninsula. So we don't get to travel too far north. Uh, not yet, anyways. We continue passing by Sebring, Avon Park, Lake Wells. We are going to stop here on the way back to see one of Florida's most overlooked places, the Buck Tower Gardens, which are situated at one of the tallest hills in the whole state. I have to take a detour a little further north uh, due to heavy traffic and I'm actually glad I had to take this detour. Take a look at all these citrus groves. This is actually really picturesque. A very pretty countryside. After a while we get back on US 27. And eventually, we make it to our campground, the Orlando Thousand Trails. In some of my previous videos, I mentioned that we got a free membership to Thousand Trails with the purchase of Minitini, so it is convenient. Our stay is pretty much free. Yeah, we made it. Thousand Trails, Orlando. Yes. Once again, we've got full hookups. We always uh, like to walk around uh, the campground and check out all the other rigs. It's a huge campground. A 
We're trying to find our site somewhere nearby. If you see a really tiny trailer, let me know. Yeah, we're there. I found it. Look at it. Okay, that's different. All right, let's cook dinner. Hey, we're cooking with Blue Apron. <laughs> We recently subscribed uh, to this thing called Blue Apron, uh, which is a weekly subscription and they ship you recipes and all the necessary ingredients uh, to make uh, three meals a week uh, and no, they are not a sponsor. Not yet, anyways. Dinner is served, blackened cod, uh, quite appropriate since we're filming this on Good Friday. We call it a night early since tomorrow we are going to Epcot and that's going to be a busy day. But I think I'm going to save that for the next video. Good morning from the Orlando Thousand Trails. We walk up to the lake to experience this beautiful sunrise. It is truly magical. And when we think it couldn't get any better, hot air balloons start rising in the morning light. Some toast and coffee. Toast and coffee. We're leaving. We are going to Epcot. It is going to be awesome. They are having the Flower and Garden Festival this weekend, but I am going to show you all that on the next video, so stay tuned. That's all I can say. That's all folks, uh, do remember to subscribe and if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and share with your friends and comment below. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, uh, so follow me there too if you will and visit the blog at roadnomad.com, join the mailing list. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. I'm riding, riding with my RV. Wherever I want to be Cause I'm free in my RV Yeah, I'm riding Riding, riding Riding with my RV My RV Wherever I want to be Cause I'm free in my